Okay, we got the press brake thing all finished up. This thing broke my back last week working on it. I don't know how. I was dragging it back and forth across the table, beating on it, trying to get it to line up. And I frigged up my back, man. I had to go to the chiropractor, pay him five bucks. Ay, 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 ay. Went backwards last week, man, with the payouts I had to make. But anyhow, got her put together. Been using it a couple times. Works better in the press. It's getting a little tore up. Some grooves ground in there, pushed in there. Bending this thing up. But that's some pretty hard stuff and that's some pretty hard bends. But this is all just steel okay, steel too, I don't know. Most of the stuff we work is steel is unknown what it really is other than rusty steel. We'll show you what it looks like in the press. And then we got to get it painted up, make it look like a pro. Even if it don't work like a pro, it'll look like a pro. Looks can need to be deceiving, especially around here. Okay, there's our press in the, or I guess there's our brake in the press. We got it working, mess some stuff up with it. You get the idea. I had the post too tall, they would bottom out on the bottom of this, or to cut them off after the fact. I don't know how that got through engineering. But it works pretty good. This is what we're making with them. A little bracket here. The local uh, ski resorts called us and they need these brackets made out. These are for uh, their chair lifts. It's a little safety latch or something and this keeps the chair from swinging too far for something. I don't remember what it really does, but they pays two hundred seventy-five dollars a piece for them. Uh, they were buying them for four hundred dollars a piece, and it's nothing more than just a uh, piece of threaded shaft with a thread on there for adjustment. And so that was a nice big, great, great order. That's going to be a great thing for the shop. So we got the guys working on manufacturing them. And then, uh, you know, so that was why we had to build that. So had to build that to make these. Alright, we're going to try to bend this up. This is a piece of junky old plate. Flame cut on one side. And we've got to bend that. You want to bend it at 90 or what? Yeah, let's do a 90. I think it still needs a spring on it. It isn't going to matter with the spring. Shut up about the spring. That's all it's going to do there.
something, bro. Alright, this won't bend that big of material. It'll break it, though. Well, let's see what else we can rack in there. Hang on, I'm gonna go get some more shit. Okay, let's do something more realistic. This is a little piece of quarter by two hot roll. You need to bend into a 90 for a little bracket or something like that. Let's see what that one does. Well, we blew our jack out. Well, just gotta do it old school. stuff there. Be a little bit past, but whatever. Broken. Way to go, hot shot. Now you gotta fix that, you dumbass. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 